1973. Uruguay's parliament is dissolved, and a military dictatorship takes over with a brutal crackdown. In the aftermath, 200 people are reported missing, or disappeared. 25 years later, democracy is back, and families of the disappeared want justice. They're blocked by an amnesty law that restricts prosecution for human rights abuses. We must overturn this law so that history will not be repeated, so that there's no precedent, so that people will not be able to commit horrors like these and never face justice. He may get his wish. The Senate already voted to annul the law, and the lower house is expected to vote for repeal this month, sealing the victory for those who would avenge the victims of the dictatorship. But opponents of the change, on the right and the left, argue the new vote itself could undermine Uruguay's young democracy, since the old law was approved twice by voters in 1989 and 2000. When the people have decided their wishes must be respected, otherwise it doesn't do any good to ask for their opinion. It will be another dictatorship if the government does whatever it wants. They should be careful about the legal uncertainty it causes. Even those who suffered abuse from the former regime do not all support scrutiny of the country's dark past. This senator, a former guerrilla in prison for 12 years, says the government shouldn't override the people's will. He's resigned in protest. What are we going to do the next time we ask for the people's opinion? And we ask them for their signatures and their votes during a referendum that could be vital for them, for our government. Despite the existing amnesty, several high-profile cases have gone to trial, authorized when the left rose to power in 2005. But human rights defenders say there are many cases left to be prosecuted, leaving those allegedly responsible for the fate of the disappeared still unpunished.